Guam. Om Yasha'ala, Koholoyim la Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakhakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments. Love you, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So you can clearly see these Christians, they don't actually keep the scriptures or don't even know the scriptures. This person that has this type, this tattoo of idolatrous white Jesus on their arm like that, probably never even heard of this scripture before because the, the preachers don't bring it out in the churches. They don't actually read. Which the scripture says blesses the man that reads And we can get this in the NLT too Because it actually says tattoos Leviticus 19.28 In the NLT The New Living Translation Do not cut your bodies for the dead And do not mark your skin with tattoos I am the Lord So here you go again Let's get this video back right <laughs> Okay it says absolutely stunning Oh oh I'm not going to um, doubt that this is not great artwork. <laughs> you know, whoever done it, yeah, they skilled. But this portrait of this particular picture that we've been seeing throughout our lives is idolatry. Because the scriptures describes the Lord as, as being a dark, melanated man. Let's get that in Revelation chapter 1. Let's start at verse 13. Because our people are really gone with that image. You, hey, our people, they got the damn praying hands emojis, emojis tattooed on their neck. You know, they got, um, I seen a, a Jake in, the, in Walmart uh, uh, about a week ago. He had a big ass tattoo of white Jesus on his, um, you know, on the side of his arm. You know. <laughs> I mean, hey, Jake, Jake gone and through with it, man. Because hey, these are a part of those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Revelation chapter 1. Let's start at verse 13. And as Salakia, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So you have some people they'll argue, well, it says white as snow, and you know, but it's talking about the texture of his hair, which is woolly. But you can't get past verse 15 and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So he had dark skin and he had a deep voice. Not this effeminate female. Uh, 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 let me keep it classy. This this picture here. Our Lord doesn't look like this, man. See what I'm saying? And again, like it, it, it's entitled Absolutely Stunning. And they got it actually looking like, okay, he took a nail through the, you know what I'm saying? Through the wrists. You know, this is this is absolute um, 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 bullshit right here. Let's play it again. See, so got that 3D look to it. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 brilliant work. But let's go to Deuteronomy 28. This is where our people get stuff like this from. And I, I, I'm not sure, you know, if this is an Edomite or if this is a, um, a Jake. But, hey, Jake could go and get some shit like this. So this could very well be, um, you know, a northern kingdomer or a um, southern kingdomer, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Man, they dance and stuff like this. Go to And, and you can tell them that, uh, well, you know, the scripture talks about not getting tattoos. Oh, that was the Old Testament. The Lord has already died for us to disobey him. Crazy, bro. Let's get, uh, where is it at? Uh, so I can, let me just put it in real quick. Thirty-six, so like you. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and thirty-six, and the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou, thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. That wood is going off into that cross with white Jesus, which is idolatry. 
And a stone is pretty much, you know, our people, two main religions that our people are into as far as idolatry is white Jesus Christianity and um, Islam, which is that stone, a Kava stone, you know? So our people got it real bad when it comes to idolatry. And again, like I said, hey, this is gr hey, great work. The 3D is, you know, 3D, 3D shit of it, you know what I'm saying? But this is idolatry, bro. This is idolatry right here. Now you know brothers got um tattoos, you know what I'm saying? I got I got one. <laughs> you know, had I known any better, you know what I'm saying? But that was way, way, way back, you know, before I came into this truth. But um, you know, if you're into this truth and you know this and you go and get a tattoo, then you're going against the scriptures, man. You're going against Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, and he'll destroy your ass for it. Cause see this person right here, you know, you know, fucking around they had to amputate his whole goddamn arm from poisoning or something like that. And the Lord will deal with you, man. Especially if you know. Especially if you know. And you still just go, oh, well, it's not going to matter. It's just a small tattoo. Because, um, you know, I had done a lesson maybe about a year back. Going off into the chemicals. That's in the um, actual ink that they're not printing on the bottles that the, the artists use. And they had like this, um, this program or this, uh, you know... It was a, 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 you know, some organization that was pretty much bringing the attention to people that, you know, they're not labeling and putting all the ingredients that are actually in the ink that's, you know, um, fucking people up. See? So you're not supposed to do this, man. You're not supposed to print no marks, you know, into the dead. And this is just a quick little video, you know, little back to the basics because, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of these, these little quick shorts like this these little quick lessons are not being taught as often but we have to bring these things out because this is a part of the scriptures and we have newcomers coming into this troop all the time and they need to know these things because when i first came into the troop i didn't i didn't know that it was um against the laws of the lord to have a damn tattoo done i didn't know that so i had to repent for that tattoo and then repentance goes off into not getting another one so if you have tattoos and you hear these scriptures and then you go and get another one, you're not fully repented. You know what I'm saying? You're going against what the Lord has said and you're being disobedient and you can actually be destroyed for this, man. So let's play it one more time. It says absolutely stunning. And there you have it. And he, this person probably done it themselves. It says, welcome to my page. Let's see, though. Um, it's got 61 comments. Let's check out some comments. It says profound and really, really. It says profound and really well done. That's precious. Glory to God Almighty. The fuck you mean glory to God Almighty? He told you don't do it. Here's another one. That's a false image of the Messiah, Yeshua. See, and here's a person in here. They know that's a false image. But here you go. You got the, the wrong name. The Lord's name is not Yeshua. His name is Yahawashai. Which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. Yah, meaning he. Hawashai, meaning savior or deliverer. There's no letter E's or U's in the Hebrew alphabet. His name is not Yeshua. There's no letter J's in the al Hebrew alphabet. The letter J was actually invented in 1524. So the father's name is not Jehovah. His name is Yahawa, meaning he exists or the existing one or he is to be. And the true name of his son again is Yahawashai. That those are the, the paleo, those are the Hebrew names for the Lord, man. The Father and the Son. Though the letter E U, the letter J E O U V, those letters are not in the Hebrew alphabet. Those letters were brought along later on in, in history. But when the Lord walked the earth, those letters didn't exist. There was no English when the Lord walked the earth. Right? Okay, uh, somebody's responding to this person. It's beautiful artwork. No, you're, it's some shit that's going against the scriptures. Then I guess this person comes back. There's nothing beautiful about deception unless you're the deceiver. A hey, good point. All right. But they're wrong about that name. This person says, great. Mutilate yourself based on a fairy tale. It takes how many years of brainwashing to believe in something this strong? If Jesus did exist, he looked nothing like this. Might as well get one of SpongeBob. <laughs> hey, well, 
you know you have these um these people that don't believe in nothing anyway they probably more likely a damn edomite they don't believe in no um in the bible for real this person says i used to think like you they're responding to that person 40 years an agnostic atheist then i had an nde last year and will tell you you are wrong like i was i studied buddhism for 12 years i wrote a book about buddhism and science and didn't need a god because I thought it was all a fairy tale. My intellect created a thicket and denied me access to God. Be afraid, very afraid, because the hell realm and heavenly realm are, are are real. There will come a time where you where you will need to beg for forgiveness. It's a lot. And this person is on some bullshit. They bug the fuck all out. Because there's no burning place underground called hell. Hell is a condition, man. Or the grave or the pit. You know, but hell is really a condition. There's no burning place underground with no devil guy, you know, with the red spandex suit with the pitchfork talking about getting his getting his fire. This person responds, thanks for sharing. My mom raised me Irish Catholic. She died when I was seven. Dad remarried nine months later. <laughs> Let's just say he made a big mistake so big he killed himself 20 years later when he when his last child was 17. You're blessed to know I'm agnostic. I see so much sin in religious leaders. It's hard to believe that and none of none of it. So like you and that and none of use are without sin. And when I think of it uh, anyway, yeah, all these religious leaders are wicked as hell because they're not telling the truth. Because this, this Bible is only for the Israelites. Or salvation is only for the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, you speckled bird. It's not a color thing neither. Because the Lord only chose Israel. He didn't choose all the other nations. You know, that's Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Back to the basics. Because these are back to the basic scriptures. Because the Lord has never changed his mind on this right here. He didn't go to the New Testament and say, oh, well, you know what? I changed my mind. I lied to you, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I now choose all the other people. It's not true, man. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that stands to this very day. So you got white Jesus Christianity, you know, the so-called white man came through, whitewashed every damn thing, gave you his image, told you that he's going to save you after destroying every goddamn thing on the planet. Gave you this, this image of white Jesus, knowing full well the Bible doesn't even describe the Lord as looking like that. You know, because when it says um, feet up, let me get that real quick, feet of um, burnt brass or polished brass as if it burned in a furnace let's just put that in let's just put in burnt brass or polished brass or or let's see here see this is what burnt brass would look like right here dark man dark see this is ancient burnt brass right here or at least it said that and it depends on how long you let it burn. But it says as if it burned in a furnace. Now look at this right here. Somebody got the perfect picture up here. See? Woolly hair woman. Or did you know they should have had a guy. Well here you go. Then who is this? This is the picture that's been pushed on our people forever man. So it's idolatry. That's the reason why we have to do lessons like this to bring that out man. Let me see. Let's put in images. And see, here's a real um, picture right here, too, of, of, you know, Israelites dark. And, and, and Russia, you know, they was pretty pissed with Rus um, the Russian president when he broke out those um, those so-called black icons, man. Um, you know, from thousands of years ago, you know, whatever, you know, that they've been holding down in those goddamn vaults over there. So it's not like these people don't know how the children of Israel actually really look. Now, today, we look like all the nations because we've lost our features and colors. But your seed line goes through your father. Let's get that in um, Numbers chapter 1. Another back to the basic um, scripture as well. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. 
after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So your pedigree, your family line, where they would call it a family tree these days, or your lineage, it goes through your father because the children are sperm cells already swimming in the father. So they have to be exactly what the father is. The woman is considered to be earth or ground or soil. You know, the man is a husband. Is, is It goes into husbandry, which is a, a, a pretty much a field work or a plower or, um, you know, so he plows into his wife with his, you know, well, penis, you know, not to sound so graphic. He plants that seed within her, the, the, the what she's considered to be earth or soil. She gives that she's like the earth. She gives that seed, the nutrients to grow properly. And then when the seed comes forth, it's exactly what the dad is. And that's why, you know, when, you know, even in America, they still keep somewhat of that custom where the man, he gets married to a woman. She takes on his last name. See, and as long as the daughter is unmarried, she keeps her father's last name. But as soon as she gets married, she takes on the name of the fathers of, of, of her husband's family. But if the sons, when they get married, they keep their father's name forever. That's how it goes. That's how the lineage goes. But here in the Americas with these so-called white people, you know, I mean, because they're ultimate liars. Main biggest lie is, you know, that the Lord is some white guy, but they lie about things like, you know, biracial, you're mixed and all these other things. Now, they smart enough to take their asses out there into space, but they're not smart enough to know that seed goes through the father and that line they know that shit. Because only in America is that 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 particular um, thing taught. Because the other countries don't teach no bullshit like that. They know full well that the father is 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 the progenitor of, of the race, man. But anyway, I wasn't intending to go all there with this. <laughs> but hey, that's the spirit, man. We, you know, we flew in the spirit, right? Now let's put in polished brass. Polished brass color, right? And it comes in different shades of brown. Because like I said, again, you can start off with a light color and it depends on how long you leave it in, a, in, 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 you know, in the, um, the burning or furnace process, then the darker it gets. So here you go. Here you go. You have all different types of colors of um, brass. But the scriptures clearly says it as if he burned in a furnace. Let's see. Let's put in... Um, Let's put in color of Jesus. Let's see what they got pop up here. I hate to even use that fucking name. These people don't lie to the people, but hey, we're, you know, we're waking up. So here you go. Now you put in color of Jesus. They won't get straight to the specifics, man. They know full well that the Lord don't look like these, these pictures, man. And he wouldn't have had no long ass hair like that. Because the scripture goes against having long hair. See? They're not going to give you the clear. See, this is a, this is the, the buffoolery. It, the closest they'll get. Because they don't want to admit that he's black or some shit like this right here. No, well, he was olive color. He was he was uh, uh, a Middle Eastern. That's the bullshit that you'll see, right? So let's put in color of Yahawashai. Let's see what pops up here. Nope, there you go. You know, it's a lot of different pictures and stuff like that, you know, because um, and a lot of Jake are, you know, um, they're making making this out of merchandise and shit like that, too. They're making a lot of merchandise out of the truth, man, instead of just teaching, you know, but this will be your your, you know, a better depiction right here. You know, the way that the scriptures is describing them. Come on, bro. You, you, the, the, the scriptures is not describing the Lord as being no, no fucking um, no goddamn white man, man. Come on, bro. Let's just be honest here. Well, like I said again, hey, look, they done made merchandise, you fringes with, see all this right here is unnecessary, really, in reality. See, Hebrew Israelites, and, and, and you know what, to be crazy, to, to be, to, uh, what would be so crazy is some white people probably own this shit. White people probably know that you into this, and they're sewing up and, and doing their own thing with it. Like, we're going to make some money off these niggers, just like they normally do. You, you don't know who's behind the face of this. See? 
And they got the scriptures up here. Uh, AI overview overview says there isn't much information about the color of Yahweh's side, but here's some related information about Black Hebrew Israelites. See, so they give you that Black Hebrew Israelites. B H I ideology is a religious movement that originated in the United States in the late 19th century. The central tenet of BHI ideology is that the black population of the Americas are descendants of the biblical Israelites. See, they don't see this is this is your AI overview. Well, we don't fucking believe you, um, 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 AI, artificial intelligence, right? Well, let's okay. So let's see what she got to say about um the color of Jesus. Let's just see here, Salakia. Let's see what AI knows about Jesus. Okay, it says there's no definitive answer to what color Jesus was, but scholars and historic historians believe he likely had brown skin, eyes and hair. Okay, well, all right. You will say that. Skin color, scholars believe Jesus was likely olive brown or swarthy. And that's the name that they used to use back in the days, Um, that word swarthy. Similar to the skin tone of many Middle, Middle Eastern today. Nope, not Middle Eastern today. That's a goddamn lie. Princeton biblical scholar James Charlesworth says Jesus was most likely dark brown. See? And suntanned. See? Well, at least they're telling the truth about that. See? However, the, the, the depiction of Jesus' appearance has changed over time. See? So you got the so-called white man. Hey, he's, hey, he's been um, at work, man. But what is the scripture talks about them changing the um the, the the color of the images? Let's see. So let's go into uh first. Let's go into the apocrypha. The history is here as to what they would be doing. They would paint the images. Let's go and see. This is why they don't like the apocrypha. They they hate this history, man. But the Lord has blessed us with the things of old, man. So this is a blessing to us. Also, like yeah, I want first Maccabees. This the, the the apocryphal. You can go to um, Borders Bookstore and you can get a 1611 King James Bible. And these are the books that the so-called white people took out of there. Right? This gives you all the history, uh, you know, uh, Alexander the Great. All the histories of these kingdoms, man. First Maccabees 3 and 48. It says, And laid open the book of the law, wherein... The heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. See, this is what they've done. And it's, and, it's, and it's evidence of this. It's evidence of this, man. That's the reason why I said, let me see. I'm just going to put in Russian president. Shows black icons. Because you, you have a period of iconoclasm, man, where they, they whitewash the pictures. Let's see what AI got to say about that. It don't say he he was saying that Jesus was black, but the images that he showed show that they that he that he was. See, and they know this, man. Look at all these pictures, man. They they understand these pictures exist. These pictures exist. This was well before they started giving you um 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 white Jesus, man. We just read that um they 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 sought to paint the likeness of the pictures after themselves, that the the images after themselves. These are real pictures, man. They got museums uh over in those areas, man, where you can go in, man, and you'll see that these far go go way back further than than Esau's bullshit. Cause they'll tell you that your history started in sixteen hundreds during slavery. Like where the fuck was we at before then? What was we doing before then? The average so-called black, black person, they don't know nothing about their history other than we started right here. They don't even question. <laughs> you know, that's why this scripture is so um, significant right here. Let's go into um, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth its owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. Our people don't know who they are. They don't even consider who they are. Why? Because white Jesus has been beaten into us so cold. You get five centuries, 500 years of that bullshit. 
It's going to be, that's, a, that's something that's hard to break. But by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Amashai, he has broken that, man. And you know, I, went, I know I went from, um, you know, the tattoo thing. But, hey, that's the spirit, though, man. I wasn't even planning on even going all off into this, like, how I'm doing it. See, these comments are stupid as hell. People don't, don't know. This person says, very beautiful. This person says, wow. This person says, amen. First and foremost, Jesus Christ is our Savior. Second, the tattoo artist had indeed taken this picture, this pic to another level. It's beautiful. But don't the Bible says, see, these, that's how you know that these people don't read the Bible. They don't know the scriptures. They don't understand. And then you'll have people that'll be like, oh, man, the Lord is not going to destroy you over nothing like that. Yes, he will. He's not going to destroy you over uh, uh, eating no pork. Yes, he will. Hell, the damn pork in itself destroys you. <laughs> You give it a little time, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord can knock your ass off um, instantly. This person says, no, nah, I'm good, laughing out loud. This person says, oh, my God. This person says, beautiful. Another person says, gorgeous. This person says, great tattoo work, artistry. The client has good intentions. I wonder if he has read and knows the Ten Commandments. Probably not. Beautiful, this person says. Stunningly realistic, beautiful work. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. This person says, hey, Jesus was dark skinned. This is not Jesus. This is an Aryan view of the Lord. S sad. This person says, let me see if I understand. And see, they, they see they know that the Lord is not a so-called white man, but they don't know his name. So you're 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 still in deep trouble. This person responds, let me see if I understand your comment. You want this cut, you want this baby to change his skin color. Be positive, not so negative. Don't reply. We'll not read. Thanks. See? This person says he wasn't black either. See? This person says, yes, he was a Jew. His skin was dark according to the nationality as we know it. So some people know, but they just don't know to the extent of that if today he was walking the earth, he would be a Negro. And his name is Yahweh Shai. And these very people that are in these comments boards are his, are his enemies. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, bro. Here's one of those people that says, but but the truth is he didn't die on the cross. The Romans used trees or upright stakes or poles. The cross is a symbol of pagan origin. And that's not true. I, I um, One of the brothers was going into that yesterday. Now, did they execute people on trees? Yeah, they done that shit, but not in this not in this sense. In this particular sense, he, he was publicly hanged. They created the cross to put him on. They created this tree, this wood. Matter of fact, I was listening to um, the elder in um, Birmingham last night. He was going into that. This person says, really, those who have studied the Bible know these little details, but why rain on someone else's parade? Who cares if, if it stirs someone to accept Jesus Christ in all caps and their Savior Nah, man, no, 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 no. But anyway, you've seen enough. Hurts my heart so much. People, Jesus suffered and was tortured for us ungrateful humans. Thank him always. Jesus, I trust in you. In all caps, bro. Some chick named Martha from Dallas, Texas. Somebody says, God is not white. Sorry to burst your bubble. Somebody says he was Jew, brown or light brown. But I mean, hey, but, the, but see, the thing of it is, is this truth is getting out. And it's getting out here because of the, the you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai through the Israelites. Because these were things that were never heard of. People never talked like this before. I can remember growing up, man, you know, hey, shit, you ain't hear about no, uh, uh, you, I, you know, they did have that episode in Good Times, you know what I'm saying, where they, you know, uh, when it, you know, if you ever seen that episode when they placed a picture of so-called black Jesus on the wall, everybody was doing good. They was coming into all kinds of money. Everybody was having all kinds of luck and shit, or what they was calling luck. I'm talking about motherfuckers is doing good. Soon as they took down the so-called black picture and put up white Jesus again, motherfuckers went right back into chaos, man. Which you could pull that episode. Pull up, hey, if you if you got time, YouTube. All you got to do is put in the search engine YouTube, probably. Um, um, black Jesus, um, good times, and and you, I'm sure you're gonna see some small clips of that. It was a very funny um show, but that particular one, man, when I say everybody was doing good, 
I think um, James, he was always disgruntled. You know, I think the, uh, he ended up coming across a some uh, a new job. And, you know, it was always a struggle with him. But as soon as they put that picture up in that episode, things went beautifully. Then they took it down, put back up, so-called white Jesus. Then you got the part where she was talking about when I was a baby. I think she said some shit to the extent of first thing I seen was my mama and this white Jesus. Is, and see, it was the mama that was in the house that was pushing the white Jesus shit. And then they had uh, Michael. He actually read the scripture in that episode. He was like, but mama, you know, it says right here. Cause see, she, and she had the look. She's like, what? And, you know, some to the extent of she never heard that before because why? That's a good um, um, depiction of so-called black people. Don't fucking read the Bible, bro. They just go to church. They sit down. They give their money. And then they go back and they repeat that shit on a week to week basis. And they're not getting any real good info because they're not telling you who the Lord really is. They're not telling you who he's really coming for. They're not telling you his name, Yahweh Shai. They're not telling you his name, his name of his son, Yahweh Salakia. They're not telling you the true name of the father, Yahweh. They're not telling you the true name of the son, Yahweh Shai. They're not telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the true Hebrew Israelites. They're not telling you any of that. Because they understand that, you know, we want all people to come in because it's a money grab. See, we don't give a fuck who coming here talking about Jesus. Chinese, Japanese, hey, they got money. They putting it in the collection plate. We're not going to spoil that. Because if they stand in the pulpit and get to saying that hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Hebrew Israelites and the rest of you guys, you're going into, into slavery. They're going to, you know, that's going to that's going to clip their congregation. And even a lot of so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, they're going to leave because they don't want to hear. They want to hear smooth words. That's that's overall Jake, man, because the white Jesus gives us the, the sense of we can still be demons, but we're saved already. That's what white that's what white Jesus Christianity gives our people. The laws are done away with. You can still be wicked. You can do whatever you want. Because look, the Lord has already died for your sins. It don't make no difference what you do. You're already going to heaven. Right? Matter of fact, let me get one more before I get out of here. And I'm at the plantation right now. Uh, they said speak to us smooth words. Oh, let me see. Let me just put in speak smooth. I forgot where this is at. Been a minute. Yep. Isaiah 30 and 10. I'll get I'll some more on that. We got to get some more on that. Verse 9. Let's start there. This is talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You damn Israelites. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord, Yahweh. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. Unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the past path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And that's what white Jesus Christianity gives them. They don't want to hear, look, stop doing this or stop doing that. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Do this. Do that. You know, because the Lord said he placed life and death before us. If you do what I said to do, that's where Deuteronomy 28 comes in at. Very first verse, it starts off with the blessings. If you do what I said to do, you're going to be blessed. I'm going to be above all the nations on the planet. Go on, so on and so forth. All these blessings are named off. Then when you get to verse 15, it talks about if you disobey me for disobedience, you're going to be under all these curses. So here we go now. It's a curse to believe in white Jesus. It's a curse for our people to be in the Islam. It's a curse for our people to be in the Buddhism. It's a curse to go beyond. The, if, you, if you're not into this truth, you're not believing on Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai and what he said. That's a curse, bro. You, I mean, we're still, I mean, as a people, we're being awakened and we're still under the curses, but the Lord is actually waking us up to, to see those things. But it's a it's an actual curse, man, to believe in um white Jesus, man. Look at Christianity. Uh, our people are, are doing horrible. They're not doing doing well in these Christian churches. Matter of fact, these churches are, have been closing down. These churches are not, um, 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 you know, staying open like that. It's a gang of these damn churches, man, closing down. And the ones that are open, the, the, uh, you know, the congregation is slack now. It's thinning. So I'm going to end out there, man. You know, I just wanted to just bring this up. Got a lot of little edification out of it. At least I did. Well, you know, I pray that you did. Because these are things that our people need to know. That the Lord is not some white guy. Tattoos are wrong. You know, you're not supposed to have those things, man. 
Our Lord is a dark, melanated man. Again, the Father's name is Yahweh, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And you need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, because we are living in the last days, man. And the reason why you know that we're living in the last days as well is because these types of topics are popping up and they never used to. This is Romans 13. Let's start at verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Because these things are being brought to our understanding now. You never heard of things like this going, um, you know, uh, uh, 20, 30, I mean, you know, it was out here. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about on the scale that it's being spoken of now because everybody is starting to say that. All the nations have started. That's the reason why this man is about to come down with great wrath because he understands that he had but a short time. You know, Revelation 12 and 12, roughly paraphrasing. He knows, okay, the children of Israel are actually waking up. We must act. So they're trying to shut this thing down. And it's going to come a, 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 you know, a point where Amos 8 and 11 is going to come to pass where there's going to be a famine of the word. Which you're not going to be able to hear this no more. They're going to get rid of all this and, and you know, coming soon. They're going to shut down um, um, websites or YouTube channels talking about the Bible. And, and, and you know, just going to clip all that. They're going to, matter of fact, they're going to make stuff like this illegal. They're already in, in play. They're already doing it. That's how you know that we're in the last days. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So you do that by repenting to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Turn from the bullshit that you want, repent to the Lord, and get into these scriptures, man, and grow. That's the reason why we do little, little lessons like this, because, you know, you, we have to start off with milk scriptures, you know, for the newer comers, you know. And we're all still learning, but you should be growing. But I'm going to end out there, man, you know. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashala and the Bible Ball.